Now we turn to a major story breaking earlier this afternoon. As Adventures on the Gorge CEO Roger Wilson has announced the company will become part of our mark destination. Adventures on the Gorge came into existence when four rafting companies, Mountain River Tours, Class 4 River Runners, Songer Whitewater, and Riverman merged together in 2007. The resort offers a lodging, whitewater rafting, and a wide range of other outdoor activities throughout the New River National Park. The company made the announcement on social media today, saying it's another milestone in its journey that could lead to greater promise and opportunity. The company's statement reads in part, quote, This opportunity offers expanded career opportunities, enhances benefits and stability for our employees as well as economic growth for our community and our state. By aligning with Aramark destinations, we aim to set new standards of excellence in the adventure tourism sector, end quote. Now, here's what we know about Aramark Destinations. It's a division of Aramark, a company with interests around the world. Aramark Destinations has holdings in 38 national parks, state parks, and protected forests. It also has nine landmark attractions in its portfolio already. Earlier this year, the company made news in Crater Lake National Park for what the federal government portrayed as alleged mismanagement with United States Senator Ron Wyden speaking out about the issues. At the time, R. Mark told local news affiliates in Oregon that its challenges at that specific park are not indicative of the company overall, and that it was working on improvements before the Park Service decided to give the contract to another vendor. AOTG put out two versions of their public statement, initially publishing a statement earlier this morning before deleting it from their social media and then putting up a slightly different version this afternoon. CEO Roger Wilson told us that the updated statement was put out to more accurately reflect what AOTG is being acquired. He also told us that employees will be keeping their jobs, including management. He told us employees seem excited about the change and that things will run as they always have this year. Improvements could begin next season. And like always, we will keep following this and update you when we learn more. And we want to turn now to celebrations around the state, celebrating West Virginia's birthday today. The governor and high-ranking officials were in the capital today to see murals located in the rotunda depicting state history. There'll be a total of murals installed as the project continues. It's expected to wrap up in November of this year. And then, closer to home, the Tamarack Marketplace celebrates West Virginia all year round, but it shifted it into high gear for its birthday. News Watch reporters Mike Teeny and Dan Delenti have more information. 161 years ago to the day, the state of West Virginia was born. And to those who call West Virginia home, the date of June 20th, 1863 is certainly a reason to celebrate. And the Tamarack Marketplace is a fitting host for just such a celebration. We celebrate West Virginia every day, but today is kind of a special holiday for us because it celebrates um, all the great things about the Mountain State, all the great people, and our culture. West Virginia Day is celebrated every year at the Tamarack. However, this year they added a special ingredient to the festivities. The staff stayed up late and made 650 pepperoni rolls. <laughs> They're fluffy and delicious, savory. <laughs> like many other things in the state, our tradition of pepperoni rolls come from the coal industry. They were a popular lunch for coal miners as they do not need to be refrigerated and are high in protein and fat. Of course, the Tamarack included other representations of West Virginia culture as well. We have a local musician um, playing some bluegrass music and uh, the Lincoln County Cloggers are here too. The Tamarack exclusively features West Virginia artists and their authentic perspectives showcase the art and culture that the Mountain State inspires. It's inspiring to work here and see all of the um, creative and um, wonderful artwork and things that people come up with here that are unique you know, to this area, unique to each person and everything tells a wonderful story. I must say the homemade pepperoni rolls were a delicious and excellent addition to showcase our wonderful state. Reporting from the Tamarack Marketplace, this is Mike Teeny with Danny Delaney. News Watch 4.
question, what's a birthday without a party? Well, we have many ways for you to keep the party going for our 161 years of West Virginia. If you're looking to celebrate for a way to get out, the Department of Tourism has released its 2024 Summer Bucket List, which includes iconic West Virginia adventures like chasing waterfalls, taking nature hikes, and dining at local restaurants. The list provides a guide to summer travel in the Mountain State. Completing the bucket list and sharing photos on your social media channels will give you a chance to enter sweepstakes and win, get this, a free four-night fall getaway. To see the full list and how to participate in the contest, you can visit the West Virginia Department of Tourism's website provided below. And today, West Virginia's congressmen and women honored the state's history. Congresswoman Carol Miller released a statement saying she is glad to help celebrate the historic day. And Senators Joe Manchin and Senator Shelley Moore Capito both telling us what the day means to them. Take a listen. West Virginia's patriotism runs deep and true, and our motto, Mountaineers are always free, is a testament to our bold commitment to forge our own path. Our great state has one of the country's highest number of veterans per capita further solidifying that West Virginians have what it takes to protect America. For the past 43 years in public service, it has been a true honor to represent the Mountain State, and I'm constantly inspired by West Virginians' incredible devotion to family, love of country, unbeatable work ethic, and perseverance against any challenge. Every West Virginian contributes to our state's amazing story, and on this West Virginia Day, I encourage everyone to take the opportunity to be proud of how far we've come and how far we will go. It's always great to celebrate our resilience and our, our birth, our birthday, because of the, uh, the difficulties with which we were actually uh, able to become a state. So I'm always proud to be a West Virginian and especially proud on June the 20th to celebrate with my fellow West Virginians.